Well, hello there. And how are you doing? Oh, you are. Oh, well, I'm so glad to hear it. And so am I. But who is this next to me? Incognito? Who are you, sir? You don't know, really don't want to know me. I don't? Why don't I want to know you? Because our bus is so leery. You want to find me. Oh. So Mr. O'Leary wants to find you. What does he want to find you for now? I destroyed the landing, landing gears <laughs> last my flight. Oh dear. Yes, the last flight that we did was a little more unusual than the normal. If you remember, we came into Edmonton in Canada and the weather was absolutely fogged in. It was pea super all the way in. So you didn't actually see anything until we landed on the grass. I feel it. Oh dear, oh dear. Broke all the champagne glasses from what I hear, but Mr. O'Leary, you'll get over it, I'm sure. You'll, you'll be fine. So today we're going to do something different. We'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. Is that all right? Oh yes, I will. Today we are going to follow a route that was recommended by Ian Shuttleworth. So Ian, are you there? Good. Now you wrote and asked us to make a quick flight. <laughs> quick. <laughs> well, we do do supersonic, don't we? <laughs> so a quick flight from Manchester to Southampton. Now Manchester is EGCC and Southampton is EGHI. And then you said, if possible, please make the O2 a runway approach so that we can fly over the Solent and see the big cruise ships. Well, I think that's a wonderful idea. I think we should do that. So let's see. Manchester to Southampton, are you up for it? Yes. Now, I happen to know that today the weather is a little bit iffy here in England at the moment. For instance, right now we are 20 degrees right here in South Yorkshire. And if you are a pessimist, you would say it is partly cloudy. But if you're an optimist, you will say, but it's partly sunny. But down in Southampton, the winds are blowing in quite steady and it will make it impossible to do an approach on runway 02. 20, yes, we can do that, but not 02. So, what we're going to do today is we're not going to use Active Sky. So that way we can pick a default P3D weather scenario that will allow us to come in on 02. Is that going to be all right? Will, will that suit? Oh, good. I'm glad you agree. Now, the scenery at Manchester is made by UK 2000. Lovely scenery, really detailed. There's lots of kamikaze vehicles rushing around there looking for unwary pilots, so you better be careful. But the Southampton airport scenery was freeware, and it really is quite delightful. So we're going to experience some freeware scenery when we land at Southampton. What's the temperature right now in Italy, by the way? By the way, the same 34 degrees. Oh, 34 degrees and we have 20 degrees here. <laughs> so which do you prefer? <laughs> Now I'm acclimatized with this temperature, so... You like Wingland weather? Yes. Oh, wow. I, well, why not? Why not? I happen to like it all the time. 34 is quite high though, isn't it? My goodness me. 
Okay, so what we'll do today then is you can redeem yourself by being captain in piloting command of the aircraft and I'll just model along on the right seats and we'll see what we can do. Now we're not going to do windy.com today or any of the others because obviously there, we're not going to be using the weather program so we'll bypass that. But we will have a look to see if there are flights going from Manchester down to Southampton and we'll follow that route. So let's go on in, have a look at flight aware and then we'll go into sim brief and make our flight plan but we will make sure that we're going to use zero to landing approach and then we'll go into Navigraph, build the charts and go from there. Sound good to you? Yes. Really. All right. So landing gear is okay do you think? Yeah. Did you clean the windows? I cleaned the windows. You vacuumed the carpets? Yes. Dusted the seats? Even that. Even that. Then we're ready. See you on Flight Aware. Well, here we are in Flight Radar 24. Decided to go into this one instead of the usual one that I go into, which is Flight Aware. And here we did a little search and we came up with Manchester to Southampton direct. But as you can see here, the aircraft is an ATR 72 600. So it's a jet prop. It's a nice aeroplane. It's a little slower than a 737, but we'll be following its route as you can see right down here. Now, this. This was yesterday when this flight left at 13.15 UTC. So we'll be following this. So let's go into Sim Brief. And here we are. Airline is Ryanair. We are 186. We're departing from EGCC. And we're going to go to EGHI. And it's given us EGLL, which is Heathrow. I'm going to change that to EGKK because it's a little bit closer. And what the heck, why not? Our airframe is Ryanair and it's EIENI. -E Cruise profile is six. And it says the scheduled flight time is one hour, five minutes. Departure runway two, three left. And the arrival runway, as you can see, is 20. So I'm going to change that to zero, two. And yeah, yes, ask it to recalculate all the SIDS and STARS. Passengers, we are four. Cargo, we are one ton. We're still carrying all of that. Champagne and caviar. And here is the flight route that it's come up with. So we go straight to Sandba, then we take the November 859er to HON, then the Lima 8 to Bug Up, and then we'll be using this, the, uh, the Bug Up 1 Sierra approach into runway 02. So looking at it, there's our route taking off from Manchester. These are all the waypoints that they have until we get down here into Southampton. If we have a problem, we just, as in <coughs> thick fog. <laughs> Then we'll just nip over here and go into Gatwick. How does that sound? <laughs> I really not hope that <laughs> from nowhere without the real weather engine <laughs> we can have fog. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Well. <laughs> oh, you'll live it down, don't worry. <laughs> All right, let's save this flight and then 
We'll go in and generate the flight plan and see what we are going to need in by way of fuel. Oh, we've got cruise altitude is flight level 190, block fuel 5046. And there is everything. There's the route. So we've asked it to give us a 23 Lima departure and a 02 arrival. So we'll have to see whether that is what we get. So there we have it. We've got our basic information. We know what we're going to need. Airtime is 43 minutes. Here we are in Navigraph. I'm now clicking on flights. We're going to do new flight from Simbrief. And here's the one that we just made. So we'll bring that in and there's the route. So we'll start out by opening the charts list for Manchester. We need to put in the airport, parking stands and coordinates. We'll also be using the SIDS, but I'm not sure that we'll be actually using the uh, the one that they've got here, the Sanby One Yankee, because we'll be using a different weather pattern, won't we? Yes. So let's, I'll put it in anyway, just to be on the safe side. Then over here, opening the charts list for Southampton, We'll put in the parking stands and coordinates, and here's the actual runway itself. There is an ATIS, there's a tower, and it's a short runway, 5,600 feet. I wouldn't uh, want you to be going in too fast. You might end up in the Solenton alongside those uh, cruise ships. Another crash will be my end of pilot career. Oh, end of pilot career altogether, yes. And if we look at the base turn, this is the one that we'll be using. So we come straight down here. We go right over the top of the, the SAM VOR, swing around, and then come right in 030. Now, I have to make a note here. We make an approach on 030 degrees, but when you get down close to the threshold, you have to make a 10 degree left turn to actually land on the runway. That's because procedure restricted to maximum 185 knots. Final approach track offset is 10 degrees from the runway center line. So you will be making a manual approach at that point. You okay with that? Yes. Good. For somebody that can land in Edmonton in pea soup, fog, anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll make sure that we've added that to our... And then for stars, let me look at the overleaf. Well, we'll be coming in on this one. This is the one that we'll be coming in on the Bogu 1S. So that, we'll put that overlay in. And see, this is our approach right down there like that. Okay, and now runway 02. We'll be making a... The VOR DME, I believe, is one that we'll be making. And we'll be putting that on the final. So let's see what this looks like when we've got that on. And there's the, there it is. Because we'll be following this and coming in on that run, on that baseline run. Okay, we're done. I think we're ready. <laughs> ready. You ready? Good. Then let's go ahead and do it. Well, here we are. 
We're in Ryanair 186. All the passengers are loading on. They've heard about the champagne that we're giving away today. And here is our indomitable captain, Father Ludovic, is ready to go. And we're going to land, not on the Solent, but over the Solent. And all being well, we'll land on a proper runway this time. <laughs> <laughs> we have always the water. That's right, we could replicate the landing on the Hudson, although landing on the Hudson has a nicer ring to it than landing on the Solent, doesn't it? Oh well, there we go. So, we are here, Manchester Airport. We are at stand number one, right here in, uh, in Manchester. We have selected the P3D Standard weather pattern, what did we use? Fair yeah. skies? Clear, no clear skies, fair, fair. Fair weather. Fair We've weather. got the fair weather one. And we did check just before we started this video. We went to Southampton and asked it to put us on to the default runway. And that was zero 02. So it looks like zero 02 is what we will be landing on with the fair weather setting inside of P3D. We've also upped the um, number of ships that we're going to be able to see so hopefully there'll be quite a few out there on the Solent to fly over and uh, wave at. How's that? Okay. So if we're ready. I'm ready. All right let me get my seat turned around and we'll get ourselves in position. Okay first thing we do is battery on. Battery on. And fuel pumps on, please. One, two, three, four. And start the APU. And start the APU. All right, now we're looking here at this gauge. It'll start to climb up as the engine gas temperature heats up. Oh, and by the way, look at this. They've actually got safe docks working here in Manchester. That actually works in coming in with your nose in. It tells you when to stop. That is SOD, by the way, SOD that does that, S-O-D-E. And we have SOD loaded into this as one of the options. This, of course, is the scenery for UK 2000. This is UK 2000 scenery. It's very detailed and we are going to see a lot more of it in just a moment. Our frame rate at the minute is 23, 24 frames per second. That's not bad. Oh, here we go. Putting on the power. Okay, next let's go down and we just do the rows one at a time. So turn on to nav. Good, galleon. And emergency exit lights on. No smoking on. Seat belts on. Left and right window heats on. Can you do? I will. There's the right window heat. We'll put the probes on early, but some people don't do that is this early. And there goes the hydraulic pumps. We're checking here that the forward service hatch and the equipment is down. The equipment being the electric stairs, of course. Now I'm turning on the APU bleed and turning on now the air conditioning packs. And you can hear the rush of compressed air going through, bringing the air to the cabin. And here I'm going to put the steady light on. That tells people that there is activity in the aircraft. So now we start to program the FMC while the passengers are loading. So we are EG Charlie Charlie. Gate one, let's see if it's got it in the database. It does. Then we will take that and put that in. And then for the route, you'll need to go to page two of your chart there and then EG Hotel India Ryanair RYR 186 
and now you'll put the root in. So tell we us what the root is. The first point we have Sanba. Then we continue on the N November, November 8590. Eight. Two to intersect the Hon point. And from Hon we go to the L8. The Lima 8. Okay. And then bug up. <laughs> Almost sounds rude. A funny name. It is. Activate. Activate. Execute. Execute. Good, now we go to departures and arrivals. Let's see what what is the uh, one frequency. the ground and that is his two. Okay, so let's listen to two. Manchester Airport Information Tango 1238 Zulu Wind Calm Visibility Greater than 20 miles Sky Condition Clear Temperature 15 G.5 Altimeter 1013 Landing and departing runway 5 right and runway 5 left. BFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have Tango. Well, we have Tango and we're departing on runway 5. Manchester, clearance delivery. Pacifica 1715, ready to cut the IF. All right, well, let's ask the tower for clearance and see what they give us, okay? So we tune in number one. And we're asking for a south delivery, which is, what number is that? Is that number the five? The south is five. Manchester, ground, Ryanair 186, with Tango, request taxi to the active south departure. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway, five left, using taxiway, Julia Echo, Julia Bravo, Alpha, runway, five left, Alpha, contact tower on, one, one, niner, point four, when ready. Taxi, hold short, runway 5 left, via taxiway, Juliet Echo, Juliet Prado, Alpha, runway 5 left, Alpha, Ryanair 186. Right, well we know where we're going to go now. We're going to go on 5 left. So, 5 left? 5 left, and for 5 left, we... What would be the departure? W was the... Um, and then, right, we have the... Zero two. Okay. See so now two we've one got one the one. transition. So it'll be the Sam one or Sam two. I, I suspect it will be the Sam one that we need. Okay. Now let's go and do the legs. So let's clear here. Reason, Nobri, Pepis, Sam, and it's here. There it is, and it brings us in right on the Sam one into the runway. Okay. Good. So that's the Sam one and we're all set on that. All right, let's now go and go ahead and put in the information. Our plan fuel is going to be a total of 2,266 for reserves plus 2,126 makes 4,000 392, so that is 4.4. For the plant. And then our reserves are 2.3. And let the calculations come from the computer. Cost index 6. Now, it's suggesting that we do flight level 215, so let's do 215. 210. If it's suggesting 215, then we can do 210. That will be the closest one. And what is your um, cruise material? Average wind is 288-27. And it says transition altitude is 6,000 feet, so we're correct on that. And we'll do slash 15. Take off. Well, this is a long runway, so we'll do flaps 5. And let's do the center of gravity. 4.729 on the trim, that's good. 146. And I'll put 21,000 up here. 150 here. 
And what is our uh, altitude, landing altitude in Southampton? 31. 50. It makes that 50. So we've got that in, okay. So, we have here all. Now and let's go and put our fix in. And that's Echo Golf Hotel India. There we are. And then we slash four. Slash M. And slash 13. Then we need the descent forecast 200, 150, 100. Oops, excuse me, 150 and 100. And I from the show. QNH is 1013. 1013. And then the I have two eight nine slash thirty nine for two hundred. I have two hundred seventy five slash thirty and two seventy three slash seventeen. All right, time to bring up the stairs, close the doors, turn on the uh, uh, your damper. Your damper. Make sure the light goes off. Good. And menu at the section. Okay, we've got. Airport set for RTO. Everybody's on. The lights are closed. So, let's... Attendance, we're about to do a pushback. So, would you do the pushback, please? We're going to turn... Which direction are we going to turn our nose? So, we are exit from here. The nose will be to the left. Huh? So, make it to the left. And uh, it's... Left now, and how many degrees? Just 45, because you are much closer to the much closer to the other uh, okay. gates or stands. And select the tug, and let's start. And now you get the start. The push back. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Coming up, ready to push. Down to the right. Parking brakes released, please. Parking brakes released. I am now going anti collision lights on as we start brakes to go. released. Which engine are we starting today? Engine number one. Engine number one. I'm switching to engine number one generator Brake indicator light, there. Engine number one is on. Air conditioning packs are off. The start valve has opened and it is building up. When it gets to 24, we'll bring in the fuel. 22 and 24. And now let's hear the engines start. Yes, this is quite a detailed airport scenery, isn't it? Look at this. It's not our luggage that remain there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, there's an easy jet next to us. Look at that. And we have One, ignition. We've I'm got the off. engines. And now I'm looking for 115 volts to appear up here. Oh. And we do. So I'm switching to engine number two. Engine number two is starting on. Braking set. Brake set. Left turn. Left turn. Yeah. Steering pin is pulled. Watch for the slope release vents on your right. Now, in flight. Thank 
you, Roger Dodger. You know, all of their names are Roger down there. Have you noticed that? They're all Roger. <laughs> okay, making sure that I've got 115 volts up here. It's climbing. Low pressure light has gone off. Looking good. got an engine start we have 115 volts we're looking good so lights are on okay crew we are about to move now you're going to have to make a left turn here but before we do that we need to turn on the main lights uh, the uh, I should say the main generators turn on the air conditioning turn off the APU bleed and turn off the APU. Now, do a cross check. cross check. We are good. Let's see if we've got a good, good flight plan. We do. Um, and then do VOR1 and VOR1. Break off. I think there's just one engine because we have a a tight turn. A tight turn. Don't turn until we get to actually move though. Now make your turn now. Yes. And use the left brake. Ah, yeah, we've missed him. We're fine. Got plenty of room. Seatbelt signs on, door lights are out, MCP is all check, takeoff thrust is check, speeds check, CDU pre flight complete, run air one Tim free, taxi briefing is on, anti collision light is on, generators broke, heat, anti ice is not needed, isolation valve auto close, start levers, idle detent, right there, close and locked, recall, flight controls, flaps. Flaps five and green light. And engine start levers, idle detent, and ground equipment is clear. We are checked and good to go. What's our frame rate right now? 27. I better turn left here. It's right. It's right. It's a straight. The main. Seven right now for frame rate. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. That's good. This is a UK two thousand scenery too. And we keep going straight, don't we? Yes. What's the frequency of the uh, localizer in our destination? It's for zero two. We don't have frequency because we do uh, Push the brown one. What's the frequency? One one. One one zero seven three five. 
mention of 5,000 feet until we get to uh, the Pole Hill, which is the waypoint at the bottom there. Part of the noise abatement procedures. So we're three, zero, 030 zero on that. Heading is set on that. We're looking good on that. Southampton. 
to drink because we are going to go over the Solent and come in onto runway 02, which may be interesting because they're using runway 20 at the moment. <laughs> So there you have it, we have slight disagreement as to which runway should be active, but we'll work on it. We should be alright. You'll be fine, won't you? Yes, you'll be fine. So, we are now descending through, what are we now, we are 7,200 feet and descending. Southampton is ahead, the Solent is in sight, so let's see if we can get some good views. Are you right Ian? Are you set? Then let's have a go.
you're doing good. We're five miles from the BOR. some boats. Do you see some? No. We have to wait. We are not even close. No, not yet. We're 4,400 feet in altitude, so we are a little high. I'm going to get my uh, portable camera here ready for uh, filming if we get a chance. The water landing. <laughs> Please don't do a water landing. I don't think Mr. O'Leary would approve of turning his aeroplane into a submarine. Yeah, I want to see uh, some boats we can be about. <laughs> that's right, that's true. Now that bit of land that you see over there, that's the Isle of Wight. You see it? It goes from Yes. You can see the whole thing is an island. Starting our turn over the over the BOR now. We're now at 3,800 feet. You know what we could do? We could just extend our route out there and then join it and come back, so that we would be flying a little bit lower. So. To do that, we would simply need to make sure that the heading selector was on to this, and then we continue straight out. Or even 185. Well, if we go to 170, heading selection. So. All right, let's let's go out there because we'll intercept the FD02 at another point. But we want to see the ships on the Solent, if we can. And we're still descending, so we'll descend down to 1,700 feet. That should give us a clear view of anything that's there. get out to the 10 mile point then we'll make a, a right turn to intercept yeah, right in the yeah. 250 
we'll do is we'll keep going until that line joins up there and then we'll execute it and then put on the LMAP. Just to show. 
U-turn here. Clean up. Off, 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 off. And off, off, and off. All right, we'll turn off the AP, turn off the power. Okay. APU is off. Battery is off. Shutdown is complete. Mm. Well, Ian, we had a little excitement there, didn't we? We, as we were coming in, they had another aircraft coming in on the opposite direction. Uh, that uh, gets the blood running a little fast, but we were lucky. The aircraft cleared the active runway before we touched down. So our little um, 
extra flight that we did over the Solent going towards the Isle of Wight allowed enough time for the aircraft to come in. So we are now here at stand number, what is it, number five, number six? Number four. We're at stand number four in uh, Southampton. We made it, but we did not see any wonderful cruise ships. I don't know why, but perhaps P3D doesn't include that. So I'm awfully sorry about that. That's, uh, I was rather hoping that we would because I had my camera out ready to hang out the window and take a picture from 2,000 feet up. <laughs> oh yeah. But we made that interesting landing right onto runway 02 and I thought he did very well. What do you think? Everybody, do you think he did all right? Thank you. I agree, I agree. Yes, nice smooth landing all the way down, yes. Well, Mr. O'Leary should put you up in the cockpit for your flight back to Verona in a yeah, couple of weeks. What sure. do you think? All right. Well, now, I hope that you enjoyed the flight, Ian. Next week, we are going to do two freeware sceneries. We're going to go to Romania. And... Where do you live again? Or oh, your home? My Oradea. Your home is in Oradea. That's the diocese of Oradea. So we're going to be flying from Baku to Oradea Airport using two freeware sceneries. Yes. With landing at right, runway 19, maybe to see runway the city. Runway 19 to see the city. That was the request. So that is what we will do next week. So I hope that you join us. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the sunshine. See you. Bye. Bye.